Royal Crown Cola presents the Roy Acuff Show. Throw your partner round and round, right foot up and left foot down, put your crown thirsty, drink a Royal Crown. Turkey in the straw, turkey in the hay, drink a good old R.C. every single day. Chicken in the bread pan, chicken out so, Royal Crown Cola everywhere you go. Best by taste test, R.C., Royal Crown Cola, brings you the king of the Grand Ole Opry stars, Roy Acuff and all the Smoky Mountain boys and girls, the Duke of Paducah, Brother Oswald, Jimmy Riddle, Pap and the Jug Band, and many others, including yours truly, Cousin Louis Clark. And now, folks, here he is, Mr. Grand Ole Opry himself, Roy Acuff. <laughs> Cola in his hand, you can always enjoy him because he enjoys living. Let's make him welcome. The Duke of Paducah! Yeah. Yeah. Where you been, Duke? Oh, sure, it was me old Irish mother that... Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> I say, uh, where you been? I've been trying to get up here to this place. Man, I'm telling you, I ain't never seen anybody drive like people are driving today down there. I don't know what's the matter. On Saturday, it looks like they go wild. It's Everybody's driving like they was in a hurry for their accident to happen and get it over. With. <laughs> On Saturday, they're trying to get to the office. Oh, yeah. I started across that street, and the policeman said, All right, Hillbilly, get back and watch that light. 
And I got back and watched it for about a half hour. They ain't no different than any other light. I, <laughs> I said, I said, hey, when do I go across? He says, you're going to go across when it turns green. I said, how come got them yellow lines on the seat? He says, don't you think his own fella? Huh. I figured it out now. If you get hit outside the line, it don't count. <laughs> Brother, if they miss you outside the line on one corner, they get three more shots at you at the next stoplight. And I'm telling you, since they got so many women drivers on the... Pardon me for using that word on the radio. I'm sorry. You know what a woman driver is, Roy? No. That's an accident going someplace to happen. <laughs> and my big fat wife, oh, that's the fattest woman and the worst driver ever I've seen. I'm t- she's bringing me to the airport the other day, and she's going down the street, you know. I said, you're going too fast. She said, shut your mouth, and she backhanded me one. <laughs> you, know, you know how they'll backhand you in the mouth? Yeah. Well, I know it. When you get a little henpecked, they'll do that to you, and I'm henpecked. I'm so henpecked, I don't snore in my sleep. I cackle. <laughs> she busted me one, you know, and I didn't say no more, and she kept on going. The light turned yellow. She kept on going. The light turned red. She slapped on the brakes, and... And skidded right up there and stopped on a dime. <laughs> policeman give her a ticket, too. The dime she stopped on was in the policeman's pocket. <laughs> uh, you, I want you to know a pedestrian ain't got a chance with my wife driving. You know what happened to one poor fella yesterday? She hit a fella and knocked him 50 feet right straight up there. And you know what happened to the poor man, Roy? No a policeman stood there and waited till he come down and give him a ticket for leaving the scene of an accident. <laughs> Brother, anybody that drives a car gives signals, they're going to turn left, they stick their hands straight out, they're going to turn right, they put their hands straight up, they're going to stop, they stick it down. My wife's got them all beat. She wheeled up to a stoplight yesterday, rolled that window down, stuck out her hand, give all three signals and went right straight up. <laughs> and I'm going straight to the wagon. These shoes are killing me. I'm going to get out of here. Oh, that's wonderful. The Duke of Paducah. Yes, sir, you're a wonderful person, a fine fellow. And now then, since we've got Jimmy Riddle all seated over to Vienna, I think we might as well try to take the washboard and kind of scrub a little bit. You boys ready? Yeah. Coming around the mountain. Let's go. <laughs> one thing. All this singing and dancing around here really burns up a lot of energy. You know, I'm thirsty. Well, there's the RC Cola cooler right over there, Roy. Help yourself. And you too, boys. But you know something? I'm glad you mentioned burning up energy, making you thirsty. It reminds me of something I've been wanting to say to the wives and mothers for a long, long time. Ladies, you burn up a lot of energy yourself taking care of a house. And the children, why, they use energy just like a jet plane. So why not do as thousands are doing and keep a good supply of Royal Crown Cola in your refrigerator? For yourself, for your family, and best of all for those times when friends and neighbors drop in for a visit. Brighten up the situation with the cola that makes you feel like new, makes everybody feel like new. Just pop and open a bottle of Best by Taste Test RC Royal Crown Cola. Take home a six-bottle carton when you shop, or better still, have your dealer put a 24-bottle case in your car. Everyone from the youngest to the oldest will enjoy the one and only cola with the best by taste test flavor, R.C. Royal Crown Cola.
That was Howdy Forrester with the old time fiddle, and the tune was Brilliancy. Well, this may not be so brilliancy, but we love to sing them. One of our fine old sacred numbers, Shake My Mother's Hand for Me. When you reach that golden city, friends in love, one you will see. When the saints come out to meet you, oh, shake my mother's hand for me. Shake my mother's hand and tell her, and tell her, happy may her spirit be. When the saints come out to meet you, out to singing, Roy, but I see Brother Oswald's putting his shoes on. It's time for us to go. <laughs> and friends, any time is time for best by taste test, Royal Crown Cola. If you haven't tried RC, we'd like to urge you to compare Royal Crown Cola with any other cola. You compare RC and you'll never choose anything else but Royal Crown Cola. RC makes you feel like new. <laughs> Now, friends, the next time, this is Cousin Louie Buck speaking for R.C. Cola and for all the gang saying so long and lots of good luck, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> 